Morning all. There was a lot of interest on the video posted earlier today uh, about how computers are getting uh, stronger with brute force year on year since the 80s. In fact, it, the spectacular move, uh, I didn't exactly have the right position. It was actually a few moves earlier where it was even more spectacular. In this position, uh, G3, Queen, H3 at move 20 of the game where uh, the stockfish I had used on the Internet Chess Club had suggested an incredible incredible move here. And <laughs> you might have a clue from the earlier video. I wonder if you can spot uh, the move in this position. Uh, so I guess there's some uncertainty if it's relating to the move or not that I've shown you earlier. Uh, you might think it's not at all possible anything earlier, any earlier analysis. But this is move 20. Queen h3, white play here. If I give you 10 seconds to pause the video, what would you consider completely outrageous in this position? Okay, it was actually in this position that the stockfish on my internet chess club on brief analysis has suggested Rook c6. It turns out at certain depth, um, like um, I think depth 24, there's actually even a stronger move. Bishop takes g7. But uh, the one which stuns me was the one I saw on, on the shallower depth, Rook c6 here, believe it or not. So the Rook is actually prone to attack to both pawns. So it's even more ridiculous than the earlier video. Uh, if b takes, then d takes. And white has uh, numerous threats in this position. Uh, most notably, queen g5, bishop d5 check, and queen takes d6. And it seems this is like nearly uh, plus five, this position. So, for example, if d takes here, queen takes d6 is very strong. And it seems that you know, black is virtually defenseless here. For example, queen h6 takes taking here and white is much better uh, the reason being if if rook b8 then check and then it's horrible like this for example so black would have to give up the bishop and this is much better so yeah it's even more ridiculous this was what really stunned me actually this was the actual position Rook c6 at move 20. I think it was so ridiculous I thought it was later. I, sh I should have really checked thoroughly. It was actually this position where Rook c6 had been prompted. So it seems white is, is actually winning from this position. If we just look at this again, um, what can black do here? If queen h6 trying to protect the bishop, let's try that as a normal looking move. Bishop d5 check. And here, if king h8, then queen takes h6. That pin on g7 is evidenced here. If rook f7, then this is a total disaster. With rook e8 check or bishop takes f7 either. So here c takes d7. Uh, it's just nearly like plus 12 now. So in this position, uh, queen d4 apparently is, is one of the strongest moves. Black's totally tied up here. Uh, and th this line is recommended. It's just crazy stuff uh, where we can just take here and then queen the pawn. So it seems absolutely weird just this rook c6 move here where both pawns can actually attack the rook. I know it's crazy. If d takes, I think this might be even more punishing than before. Okay, so d takes here. If queen h6, check. This is crushing rook f7. We can take here, check. And um, if bishop e6, queen takes d6, this is crushing. For example, like this as one example. Uh, it's just an overwhelmingly strong position. Even rook takes e6, it's possible here. Queen takes g7, queen h8 check. So winning um, here, like a bishop up. 
Okay, so yeah, it's it's just this was the absolutely crazy move. It wasn't even Rook C6 later. I think I'll have to show you this game from the start. It's it's crazy. Let's just go through the game from the start, just to put it in context then, because I showed you the moves after. It was a Dutch defense. Yeah, maybe a lot of Dutch defenses are often creating weaknesses more than other openings sometimes. So I take it on D2. I put the bishop on C7, and I thought I was sealing up things. Uh, a bit, you know, covering the entry points of this bishop d6. So white marks the c6 square a little bit here. There's nothing that spectacular at the moment. It just occurs around about here. So queen d4 uh, in this position, uh, the rook c6 occurred. But even stronger. Let's go back to the even stronger variation. Is actually bishop takes g7. So why is this absolutely devastating? Well, king takes queen g5 check, and here apparently uh, either rook c4 or even stronger bishop h5. You can get these even stronger moves, and you wonder what what on earth they're doing. What what is bishop h5 doing? I think there's also there's a dislocation issue, disconnection issue of the rooks. So what is white actually threatening? Well, rook e8 is something. Uh, so apparently, as an example, let's just give b6 as an example, rook e8, and black has to give up the queen. It seems that's that's given as like one of the best moves, or um, give up the queen like queen g4. It's ridiculous. Uh, if bishop b7, let's see what's happening. Just queen f6 check is mating like this. So that's the point of that bishop h5. So there's all this crazy stuff. I mean, but visually stunning was actually this position with rook c6 shown on my ICC stockfish. It's just, it's just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, this sort of tactic, I think, is beyond the power that it actually is better for white in in all variations. Uh, so yeah, if you were shocked with the rook c6 on the earlier video, you might be even more shocked with it here. But this is the position where people were mentioning about bishop takes g7. So th this seems like a more straightforward tactic in in some respect. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, getting this pin for you know that queen f6 and bishop f7 is is crushing. Um, nothing else really to say here. I mean f4 as an example, rook e8 is still this is absolutely crushing. If takes. Then there's queen f6, and again that bishop is working with the queen here. So that's another way of winning the position. So yeah, there, there were holes all around the place in this position, and there's a rook disconnection issue. But yeah, the stunning one for me was was personally um, rook c6 <laughs> here. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.